It started with silence, the kind of silence that doesn't just fill the room, but swallows it whole. Deep within NASA's mission control, rows of screens glowed faintly in the dim light. And then, without warning, a line of code began to blink. A signal, a faint chemical signature detected in the darkness between Mars and the edge of interplanetary space. At first, it looked like background noise, something that could easily be dismissed. But within minutes, the data became clear. It wasn't noise, it was something far stranger. NASA's deep space network had just picked up traces of water vapor leaking from an object that shouldn't even exist here, a comet, but not just any comet. The mysterious interstellar traveler known as Three-Eye Atlas. At first, no one believed it. The analysts thought it was a calibration error, maybe a ghost reading from solar radiation. But the signature kept repeating, and it was unmistakable. Water molecules breaking apart under sunlight, releasing hydroxyl radicals. Something out there was actively venting water into space. The problem was that Three-Eye Atlas isn't from our solar system. It's from somewhere far beyond, perhaps from another star entirely crossing the void for millions of years. Out there, frozen solid in interstellar darkness, all its ices should have long evaporated or been destroyed by cosmic radiation. And yet, this thing was alive. Not biologically alive, but active, breathing. It was leaking water like a wound that refused to close. The realization spread quickly through ESA teams. Instruments across multiple observatories confirmed the same strange phenomenon. Even the James Webb Space Telescope registered a thin, shimmering cloud of vapor trailing behind the object. That confirmation changed everything. Because in the vast, empty silence of interstellar space, water is rare, and finding it here in motion meant something extraordinary was happening. When 3 I Atlas made its recent pass near Mars, ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter managed to capture the closest ever images of an interstellar comet. What those images revealed shocked even the most skeptical astronomers. The comet's coma wasn't behaving normally. Instead of forming a smooth halo, the gases around it pulsed, expanding and contracting like a heartbeat. In one frame, the halo glowed brighter. In the next, it dimmed, over and over again. Some described it as if the comet were breathing. Each pulse released a wave of vapor that spread outward like ripples in still water. The chemical analysis revealed even more bizarre details. The carbon dioxide to water ratio was completely off the charts. More than 20 times what we've seen in any known comet. If this were a simple icy rock, it should not have this much trapped CO2 or this level of internal heat. Something was fueling this activity, but no one could agree on what it was. Some suspected radioactive decay. Others thought maybe internal chemical reactions from exotic materials that formed in another star system. But even those theories didn't fit. The outgassing wasn't random. It was rhythmic, repeating at precise intervals, almost like a timed release. Back at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, scientists ran simulation after simulation trying to explain it. Every 27 minutes, a spike in vapor output appeared, exactly 27 minutes apart, like a heartbeat in the void. Too perfect to be natural, too regular to be random. One researcher reportedly said, this isn't just physics, it's something trying to communicate. Of course, that line never appeared in any official press release. But those who saw the raw telemetry say the timing patterns are real. Regular pulses of energy, as if the object were following instructions. The James Webb Telescope focused its powerful sensors on the object, searching for answers. What it saw only deepened the mystery. Instead of a typical icy nucleus, the surface of three eye atlas looked hardened and metallic covered by a crust that seemed to resist sublimation. The water vapor wasn't escaping from the surface. It was seeping through microscopic fissures, suggesting internal pressure, maybe even a heat source inside. But where would that heat come from? In the frozen emptiness between stars, there's nothing to warm a comet's core. 
Unless something inside was generating it, some scientists propose that 3i Atlas might still carry radioactive isotopes from its parent system, slowly decaying and producing heat. Others suggested internal chemical reactions under high pressure. But those ideas only explain the warmth, not the precision, not the pattern. It was as if the object had control over when to release gas, as if the venting wasn't random but deliberate. And that's when things took a darker turn. During one observation cycle, the near-infrared spectrograph detected unusual light behavior around the comet. Instead of reflecting sunlight normally, 3i Atlas twisted the light, reversing its polarization in ways that defied all known physical models. It was bending light as if something about its surface structure or electromagnetic field was engineered to manipulate photons. Natural materials rarely do that, and when they do, it's never with this kind of precision. Inside NASA's secure channels, quiet discussions began. What if this object wasn't just a comet at all? What if it was something made to look like one? The theory sounded insane, even to the scientists suggesting it, but every new observation kept stripping away the normal explanations. 3i Atlas was moving differently, venting rhythmically, and distorting light in impossible ways. It didn't behave like any known natural body. Body. Then came another theory, one that tied ancient ideas of panspermia and cosmic seeding to a new possibility. Some researchers whispered about the interstellar seeder hypothesis, that comets like 3i Atlas could be ancient delivery systems, carrying the building blocks of life, or something more advanced, across galaxies. Machines disguised as rocks, silent travelers programmed to awaken when they encounter a new star. The water, in this theory, wouldn't just be a coincidence, it would be part of the activation process, a signal, or a release. Could 3i Atlas be releasing more than just vapor? Could it be dispersing microscopic organisms, or encoded data, waiting to seed another world? It's pure speculation, but the coincidence of timing water emissions increasing as it nears the inner solar system, is hard to ignore. And if that's true, then this object isn't just passing by, it's doing something. NASA hasn't confirmed anything beyond the water leak. Officially, the agency maintains that 3i Atlas is an unusual but natural interstellar object under ongoing observation. But off the record, some insiders admit there are anomalies they can't explain. Every data pulse tells the same story. Structured emissions, unnatural polarization, and a heat source that refuses to fade. The object is now past Mars, heading inward, closer to the sun. Scientists expect its activity to intensify. More vapor, more signals, maybe even solid fragments breaking off. If those fragments drift toward Earth's orbital path, they could bring with them material from another star, and possibly something we've never encountered before. For now, telescopes around the world remain fixed on it. The James Webb, Hubble, and soon even the Lunar Gateway's telescope array will be watching. Every scientist involved knows that 3i Atlas may only pass this close once in human history. Whatever secrets it carries will vanish back into the dark once it swings around the sun. And yet, for all the data and analysis, one thing remains hauntingly uncertain. Every 27 minutes, another pulse, another burst of water. The pattern hasn't broken once since it was first detected. Some think it's natural, some aren't so sure, but everyone agrees on one thing. This comet is unlike anything we've ever seen. Somewhere inside that ancient frozen shell, something stirs. It's something watching back. NASA's official report ends with a simple statement. We continue to monitor the activity of interstellar object 3i Atlas. But among the scientists working long nights in those dimly lit control rooms, the whispers have already started. They no longer call it a comet. They call it a messenger. And if that's true, then maybe it didn't come here by accident. Maybe it came for us.